So a proton has a velocity v equals 3600 meters per second and enters a magnetic field b whose magnitude is 0 0.75 tesla where b and v are at 55 degrees as shown and so here's my velocity coming in um, here's the magnetic field it's entering it, it's uh, entering into and there's the angle between the direction of velocity and the direction of the magnetic field and they want us to determine f both the magnitude and the direction and so we would just say here f equals qvb sine theta and then we'd have to get the charge on a proton right and the charge on a proton is 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19th coulombs times 3600 meters per second times 0 0.75 tesla times the sine of 55 degrees I get all that on there, maybe? Close enough. Um, and so what I get for that is uh, 3.5 times uh, 10 to the minus 16th Newtons. All right, and, and so that's the magnitude of the force on the charge, and the only thing I have left to do is figure out the, uh, the direction and I have to run my arm this way to get the direction because I need my arm in the direction of the velocity and it's got to be my right arm right and so I'll, I'll just move my body over here and lay my right arm down and I curve this way and it's, so it's out of the board so by the right hand rule F is, is out of the board. All right. So in this problem, a charge Q equals 2 times 10 to the minus 9th Coulomb traveling at 3,000 meters per second enters a magnetic field B equals 0.12 Tesla as shown. And so the first question is what is the force on Q? And so we want to get both the magnitude and the direction. And so um, we can do the direction first. Uh, if the velocity, if the if the uh, velocity right is up, then if I want to figure out the direction of the force as it enters the field, um, I have to curl my fingers in the direction of the field. Right, I put my arm in the direction of velocity, curl my fingers towards the field, and so initially, at least, as it enters the field, the force is to the right, and so. And then if I want to calculate it, I say F equals QVB sine theta. And so what's the angle between uh, V and the magnetic field? The magnetic field points up, right? And the velocity points this way. And so that's a 90 degree angle. And so sine theta is just one because sine of 90 degrees is one, right? And so that just gives me a two times uh, 10 to the minus 9th coulombs times the velocity which is 3,000 meters per second times a 0 0.12 tesla right and if I calculate all that out I get a force of uh, 7 times uh, 7.2 times 10 to the minus 7 newtons and so um, I can keep this here and put part B up and part B says uh, what is the shape of the path and so this is an interesting question because um, Clearly, its direction is going to change, right? As Q enters the magnetic field, we already said it has a force this way, and the force is at 90 degrees to the direction of the velocity, right? And so the force is to the side, and so as it enters the field, it causes its direction to change a little bit, right? As it enters the field, it gets pushed this way because the F is that way, right? As it enters the field. But now it's going this way, right? 
And so once again, if I want to calculate the force at this point after it's turned a little bit, I, I put my hand in the direction of the velocity, curl my fingers towards the field, and it's still got a force this way. And so what it does, and so on, right? The charge moves in a circle uh, because the force is perpendicular to the direction of motion, and that's a centripetal force. It doesn't speed it up or slow it down. All it does is changes its, its direction, and so you would see it do something like that. So in this part of the problem, we're going to say, look, what is the radius of the circle? We've decided that it goes in a circle, and we want to know its radius. And for this part, I have to add, I have to give the particle a mass. So we've decided this mass, for the sake of discussion, is going to be uh, 10 to the minus 6 kilograms, and it travels in this circle. And this is actually a Newton's law problem, but it's pretty easy. It's a little bit like the satellite problem in that there's only one force acting. And so the force acting, in, and it's always acting towards the center, is F equals QVB. And you'll notice I didn't put the sine theta on there because the magnetic field is out of the pain, plane of the board, and the particle is in the plane of the board, so they have to be at 90 degrees to each other all the time, even though the direction of the charge is changing, it's always in the plane, and the magnetic field is always up. And so, you know, when it's as it's entering, the force is this way, and it keeps turning it as it goes all the way around, and so it goes in a circle of radius r. And so it asks me what the radius is, and I can just treat it as a Newton's law problem. So I'll draw a free body diagram, put a little FBD over here, and I'll say, look, it's got a force on it going this way, the centripetal force, which is just the magnetic force, which is QVB. Um, it's accelerating towards the center. See if you remember what the name of a force that for the acceleration for a particle moving in a, in a circle is, right? We call that A sub C. It's V squared over R, right? And then, um, and I can pick a little coordinate system. This one just works just fine, just like we've always done. And this allows me to relate the, uh, the, the force and the, and the uh, acceleration, right? I can say, look, the sum of the forces in the x direction equals m a sub x. That's mv squared over r. But the force is just the one. It's just qvb equals mv squared over r. I was using a lowercase r, so let me try to get back to that here real quick. R, right? And I'm going to have to erase some of this stuff so I can do a little work here. You can scan back, scroll back and see that if you want to. And so this gives me, um, I can cancel a V on both sides of that and I can get QB is equal to MV divided by R, or R is equal to uh, MV over QB, and that's equal to uh, 10 to the minus 6 kilograms times 3,000 meters per second divided by 2 times 10 to the minus 9th coulombs times uh, 0 0.12 tesla. And I get R equals 1.25 times 10 to the 7th meters so that's a really big circle. But, um, but that's how you calculate the radius.